The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Namdekanu, on Thursday said some guests who visited him in detention were not cleared to do so. Mm. Were not cleared to do so. Kanu insisted that this obvious infraction should be addressed as at the appropriate forum, noting that it constitutes a violation of the order of the cause. It was not even expecting them. I think that is what it meant. This was made known on Thursday in a statement signed by IPOP lead counsel Ifanye Jofo, who noted that the officials of the Department of State Services DSS reje rejected for the umpteenth time the change of clothes brought for Kano. We observed our routine visits to our indefatigable clients, Oyen Dumaze Namde Kano, today, the tenth day of February 2022. Extensive interaction was heard with him on mainly legal issues as well as other engaging related matters. Though for reasons we were not told, the officials of the DSS rejected for the umpteenth time the change of clothes brought for him. We however protested against this obvious violation court order, of court order and insisted of seeing, on seeing the head of the appropriate departments to lodge our complaints, but Oyen do advise that we should take up the infractions at the appropriate forum in view of the fact that a positive order of the courts was flouted. Also, forming part of our demand for explanations is the fact that some other guests that visited Oyendu were not itato cleared. Oyendu still insisted that his, this obvious infraction should be addressed at the appropriate time because it constitutes a violation of positive order of the cause. The visit proceeded smoothly and personally notes were taken of Oyendu's erudite, erudite views. Contributions towards a successful outing come 16th day of February 2021. Oyendu was equally briefed on the level of progress on other matters simultaneously going on in other courts affecting other young Igbo youth still in solitary confinements of the detaining authority who are yet to be formally arraigned in court other details in relation to this brief shall remain private as usual Oyendu appreciated his ardent supporters who have remained unshaken and resolute even in the face of obvious tribulations and sabotage. Please be reassured that this month is a month of uncommon victory. Do not be distracted by this desperate contrive of the enemies of Umuchineke, which is now obviously coming in a different dimension and being orchestrated by moles. It is forward ever and backwards never. Umuchineke Oyendu encourages you all to remain peaceful in the conduct of your affairs and prayerful, particularly in times like this, because victory is no longer far from us. Oyendu is fully prepared for the 16th of February outing. You all will see him live and direct. Thank you, all easy go. Umuchineke and remain richly blessed. I love you all. The statements noted. So there are two things here. The same DSS who came out, came out and said, Oh, Imnam Likano has been pampered. Oh, they have been giving him first class or whatever treatment. I could remember the judge said, Oh, the lawyer should not expect that it is not a, a where it's going to be so, so, so much comfortable. But the law, the order you, order you have given, even the last time you said you wouldn't want to attend to him again you wouldn't want to see him in court with the same clause that what is the problem the man the judge was angry but at the end of the day did the, the dss did they do anything no they just came out and told us ah, the, everything is fine with the man why can't he change his clothes god now wow why can't he change his clothes that is the question we are asking and meanwhile the judge has already given the order that he should be given Opportunity to put on another clothes that him, she herself is irritated with that clothes, and now this guy is still flouting court order. And this is the same Buario 
because this uh, DSS or whatever, they are working on that worry now, and they will be telling you, they want other people to be law-abiding. Every now and then, they are always uh, flouting court order. And also, some people came to visit, which he never expected them to have come. It's unfortunate. Oh my God, the lawlessness in this country is at its peak. The situation is getting deteriorated every day. We are not even progressing at all. We are not progressing. God bless all Bia France. God bless an Americano. I love you so much. God bless all IPOP men and women in this world. If only Buari and his government know how closely Bia France are observing their romance with an Americano, they are keeping a close watch. The same way they were doing a peaceful protest and they started killing them. They are no longer protesting. I hope the government don't wait for Biafran to stop watching before doing the right thing. Some lunatics will complain now when boys protest whichever way. I may be Afran, not in Nigeria. Huh. We must continue at war at last. We must win. I'm sorry for some people in Nigeria. We all know the truth, but we are all afraid of Buhari's government. We all know the truth. And that is it. I'm sorry for some people, honestly. After paying tax to bandits. Okay, who are these people? Nigeria state is lawless to the core. When valid orders of a court is not obeyed, it is a call to anarchy and violence. Fulanis will not like this idea because they are not northerners, Nigerians. Their end is near. Can someone tell me the sin of this man? The sin he committed is that he is asking for good of his people. Or he's saying that he needs his people to believe or to live and have a good life and live like humans. And that they should not treat them like second men in their own land and that's all i'm a jury don't care once it is kind of lawless country only time we say now wow there is biafran people okay all over the place oh my god mm. nigeria is evil we shall laugh at last they are making us to be more determined to have a contra a country we can happily call our own free the occupied nation of Biafra now. Yeah, free it now. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.